What's happening, people? Uh, yesterday afternoon, Johan Almander, the Swedish international winger, signed a three-year deal to Galatasaray, uh, the Turkish club. Um, now, a lot of people were disappointed with Johan Elmander this year. Uh, he scored 12 goals in all competitions, and he frankly wasn't too good for Bolton. And Bolton fans, from what I've heard, wanted him gone. But, uh, but as for Galatasaray now, it's something that they've been doing for years now. They run their... Uh, they got Turkish national players such as Turan, he's the captain now. They run with the Turkish team and they sign these washed up type of players from the Premier League and other leagues and whatnot, such as uh, Milan Barosh and Harry Kuehl, uh, two former Liverpool players who were on the team when uh, Liverpool won the Champions League in 2005. And they sign these players. Um, uh, who, uh, who, um, aren't fit anymore, kind of to play in possibly the Premier League or other big leagues, such as maybe the MLS does with Beckham and Henri and whatnot, but, uh, they sign these players, and they didn't this year, but most years they contend to win the entire thing. Uh, not the, I mean, like the, the, uh, the Turkish, the Turkish league title, not the entire thing, like the Champions League or anything, but they, oh, they win the Turkish title quite often, um, they won it in 05, I believe, or 06, they won it in 08, 02, they won Europe in 2000, or 1999, they won, yeah, 1999, they won the Super Cup in 2000, but, uh, it's something Galatasaray always does, they always build these teams, they got their Turkish academy, and they've got they've got um, these other international players that just show up. And Johel and Elmander now is part of that. Um, he's 29, uh, not really too old, but a lot of people think he's past his prime, um, and he doesn't have too much left to offer. I mean, he's a decent player. But I don't, he's not quite good enough to uh, make it in the Premier League, I don't think. But um, as for Galatasaray, they've uh, they've been talking about signing a couple of players. They've already signed Elmander three years, and uh, a lot of talk that they're going after Didier Drogba, who. I mean, I think it's 24 million for four years they're offering him, and Chelsea doesn't even offer him that money. Chelsea offers him um, four million a year, I believe. It's four million a year is his salary, and uh, uh, if you're Drogba, you gotta look at it like I heard this from another person I was talking to about it. If you're Drogba. There's so much pressure at Chelsea to score. There's so much pressure at Chelsea to win. And at Galatasaray, you're getting paid more. And there's not as much pressure there. I mean, they're not expected to win every every single time. Even though they do win quite often. You get to play with players who... Um, who love the game. Who want to keep playing the game, but obviously aren't fit to play in other leagues but it I I don't know what you do I'd, if, if I were drive I'd be thinking about I'd be thinking about it at least I'm not gonna go ahead and make a decision for him obviously and then and I'm not gonna go ahead and um, and uh, tell you what I think I would do because I probably wouldn't know and I'm obviously not in that situation but for Drogba, it has to be going through your mind a little bit. And for Chelsea, it might even be going through their mind too. Because a lot of people talking about uh, giving him up. Uh, or Anelka. And hey, they may if, if, 
If uh, Galatasaray want to pay 24 million for him, why not? You can go ahead and buy another decent striker. I mean, Trump was already 31, 32, or 33, something like that. Somewhere in the 30s. He's getting older. He doesn't have too much left in the tank. And if someone wants to pay 24 million for a player like that, especially on a team that's looking to rebuild and go younger, then if you're Chelsea, you got to be thinking, well, why not? You know? It could be a very, very, very realistic possibility that he goes at Galatasaray this summer. And, uh. And, uh. Becomes part of that team for a price that. That, uh. Some might want. That, uh, Galatasaray were willing to pay. And, uh. But I think Galatasaray. I mean, they came eighth this year, but uh, if they get Drogba and they and they pick up Elmander, which they already did, and they possibly get another player, they could probably be challenging for their title again, uh, which they do most times, and they could be going back to Europe like they do most times. But uh, you know, if you're uh. For Chelsea, you gotta keep you gotta keep an eye on that. And for Bolton, a lot from what I've heard, he's not really that big a loss, Johan Elmander. And if you, uh, I don't know too much about Bolton's targets or anything right now. Tell me what you think. I don't like. Who do you think they're looking at to replace him? Who do you want him? Who do you want to replace him? Um, and uh, that's it, guys. So I will uh, see y'all later. Peace.